Hey everyone, how is it going? In this tutorial, we are going to create a collage poster design in GIMP. Let's begin. Alright, first go to File, New, and I set to this standard canvas size, the A4 paper, and change it to pixel. And decrease the resolution so it will keep memory in low usage. Let's divide it by 2. You can do math in here. Alright, and this. And click OK. Okay, next bring the image in here by going to File, Open, and adjust this. Just click Open. Click Convert. Okay, next I'm going to use the Advanced Selection and Game. Or you can see more details in my previous video how to do the Advanced Selection and Game. First, duplicate the layer. You can click this icon to duplicate. And turn the image in black and white color by going to Colors. Desaturate and click desaturate again. Just click OK. And then adjust the curves by going to color, curves, and just turn it down. After that, invert it by going to colors, choose invert. And now we're going to focus on the white areas. Press B to activate the path tool, or you can click this icon and start selecting from the bottom and to this point just click and drag And when almost finished, hold Ctrl until you see this chain icon, then click and press Enter. So it will create a selection. Next, I'm going to fill it with white color. So make sure you click this icon to reset the color. And go to Edit, just fill with background color because our background color is in white. And click and deselect it and select and choose None. And click this Move tool to release the path. And next, I'm going to use the curves one more time to make it completely dark except these areas by going to Colors, Curves, and just fully turn it down. Make sure it's only this area and click OK. And to the original layers, right click, add layer mask, choose this white full opacity, then hit it. Press Ctrl C to copy and click this mask layer, not in here. Make sure you click this layer and press Ctrl V to paste. It will create a floating selection, then click this enter icon. You can turn off this layer visibility to see the result. And apply the layer mask by right click, just play layer mask. And bring the result to this canvas. With move tool, click this icon. Press Shift S to scale it down and hold Ctrl only to keep the proportional scale so you don't want the result like this. Okay, just hold Ctrl only on the keyboard. And press Enter. Let's change the background color by clicking the background layer and click the color and change it to this color, some pastel yellow color. Just click OK. And with bucket fill tool, click this and click on the canvas. Now for the color effect, I'm going to bring the image in here, the PNG by going to fall. Open this layer and choose this. Move tool, click the second or the shortcut is M. Let's try to move. Press shift to select the back object and move. You can make some nice placement. Okay, in here. 
and add more objects by going to fall, open this layer, and I choose this. You can bring the layer to the front by dragging this book layer above this layer. Alright, and scale it down by pressing Shift S. Hold Ctrl only to keep proportional scale and place it on here. And again, we need to fall, open this layer, and choose this. Scale it down by pressing Shift S, Hold Ctrl only, place it on here. And add again more images. Try to make some nice arrangement. So try to move it down layer. And scale it down. And you can flip it by pressing Shift F. And if you want to flip to horizontal, make sure you choose the horizontal and rotate it by pressing Shift R. Okay, and try to make some nice placement. It tries to move below this books layer and scale it down again. Turn it to black and white color in colors, desaturate and click desaturate again. And click OK. And hide some part with masking. So in this layer, right click, add layer mask, choose this white full opacity, then hit add. And make sure you click this color to reset it to default. Paint brush tool, click this icon, or the shortcut is P. And try to increase the size and the hardness. Make sure the black color inactive and on this layer just brush it. So that's all about the color effect. Just make some arrangement and nice placement to the image. And a tips for you if you want to scale all of this image in here. So by pressing shift then click. So it will link all the layer. Let's unlink the background. So I don't want the background to scale down. So make it unlink. Press shift S to scale it down and hold control only to scale it down proportionally and press enter make it unlink by holding shift then click press shift and click again to unlink all and let's hide this part again with pen brush tool make sure in black color and just brush it and the last the text element but first make some guides so you can drag from the top to create guides Place it on here and then again to place it on the bottom. And drag from the left to this left areas. And drag from the left again to this right areas. And let's add a text, press T and type telephone to poppins. Turn the size to 30 and place it to here and you can duplicate click this icon hold control and change the text to change the type to and I want to duplicate more text click this icon and rotate it with shift R hold shift to make 15 degree increment and press enter. You can adjust the spacing to this box. I just make it close and duplicate more text. And I want to add more element to rectangle. So Click this icon, the rectangle tool, or the shortcut is R, and make some rectangle. Just drag it and create new layer and name it rectangle. Let's fill it with this yellow color and go to edit, choose fill with foreground color. And deselect it and select choose none, or the shortcut is Shift Ctrl A. Try to move with 
this move tool to make some nice placement. Make sure the rectangle is above the background so it's behind these main objects. You can turn off the gates in by going to views and check the show gates. That's all how to create the color exposure design in game. The key is just make some nice placement to the main object. You can try to place it in the front or the back. Keep practicing. I'm Zeki from Zeki Design. Create something good today. Thanks for watching.